Hi, I'm Pamela Dalamsi Lee, an artist and instructor at the Bainbridge Island Museum of Art, here with another Art in Action project. Today we'll be doing Measuring Time. Measuring Time. A measuring tape measures physical distance. A clock measures time. What if you measured personal time? Like how long it takes you to clean up your room, or how long it takes you to master a song on the piano. What about how long it took you to snap or to whistle? How long did it take you to become enamored with your best friend? Could you put this on a timeline? Get a long string or glue strips of paper together or tie pieces of fabric together in increments that make sense to you. There are many ways to make this timeline. What's yours? A year passes like a snowflake. This is a poem by Janet Norman Knox. Falling into a lake, a moment intricate, white, dissolved, waiting for moon. To join thousands of liquid years, glacier lake made pure. To rise through tree trunks by snowflake, each your face. At the edge of vision, lace repeating. Moon in wrong part of sky is self-tatted by every hand, every expression, crystalline perfection. Where it has never been before, your face on my skin melts. A year passes like a snowflake. So these pieces, I think of as timelines. This was done by my daughter when I was pregnant with my son, our third child, and she called him Baby Cedo. And these are the seeds. And this is what she thought he'd grow into. And he kind of looks like that, actually. He's 6'4 and very skinny. But this is a nice timeline because it shows growth. And even though they're baby drawings, they look beautiful. And if you frame them with respect, they become a timeline. Here's another one. And here's another one. Now, when I did this project, I thought it would be really fun to sew some ribbons together and make a long strand of rhythm and then figure out what to do with it. And I ran out of time, so out came the glue. And I, ha I wanted a, a solid frame, so I used this box. It was perfect. Then at home, I have just been sorting through a bunch of old love letters. And I used to have boxes and boxes of love letters because I'm a teacher, and, and that's one of the wonderful rewards of being a teacher but what I found was I, I couldn't take them on all my moves with me and I've only kept a few love letters from wonderful students but also from my elders and this box is a lot about my elders and I actually started crying because I realized I'm losing so many of them when I was making it but this side of the box are ribbons from my childhood they described the people in my childhood who were major influences. And this side of the box, I've kind of skipped over the college years, and this is about my current family, my children, and my husband, and me. The top of the box was created because there were little holes in here, and I didn't like them, and I had to fill them somehow. So sometimes art is made out of necessity, too. But I think they're playful, and I like them. What ribbons or what pieces of fabric or what papers remind you of people in your life? Is it the texture or the color or the shape of the images? And how can you be playful? Thanks for watching. Feel free to share any work inspired by this project. Until next time, it's art in action.